This was supposed to be a day for celebration and awarding the top compliant taxpayers in the country. And indeed, some won accolades. But the reality of the times overshadowed any celebration that there should have been. The state of affairs that we are in now leaves us in a position where we have to borrow every year and many times not under favorable terms and conditions for our country to run. So we have awakened to this reality and there is always a turning point for every institution. So for Uganda Revenue Authority, our 30th birthday was our turning point. One. For the taxpayer, the government is going to ask for more from you. If you don't give me enough taxes, and you want me to do your roads, you want me to do your hospitals, COVID came, if I told you the amount of money we have spent on fighting COVID, you would be amazed. Some 40 taxpayers were recognized for being the most compliant and for supporting the tax body to achieve its mandate. Citibank was one of those that took the day for being the most compliant taxpayer in the previous financial year, followed by Davis and Shatliff and Housing Finance Bank. Ismail Musa Ladu, NTV Business. Um, ladies and gentlemen.